Okay, so let's try this again. I'm Naomi, and in this video, I'll show you a time lapse of my most recent painting, and I'll also give you my 10 best tips on overcoming frustration and staying motivated as an artist. Um, so this video has nothing to do with how to make a living doing art or how to monetize your work. It's just about um, motivation. I will um, definitely get to that making money. For now, I'm going to show you how I made this and talk a little bit about what keeps me ticking and keeps me going and hopefully you'll find something that works for you. So number one, um, it's okay if it's frustrating. There's always going to be a level above you. So remember that as like 101 in what to do if art gets frustrating. It's okay if it's frustrating. It's kind of supposed to be. It's like, it's this big pursuit and uh, it's normal that it's hard and challenging. Um, with that said, how to work with that. Only very conceited people never get frustrated with their art. So um, your frustration might be a sign that things aren't going so good or it might be a sign that, you know, you're completely reasonable. <laughs> Tip number two, make small things and keep a sketchbook. I don't always show all the tiny little doodles I make. I make doodles when I'm on the phone. And it's really important to keep doing that, especially when you're just starting out. Number three, set realistic goals. Don't compare yourself to others. Try not to be inspired by just one person because then chances are your motivation for being an artist um, is wanting to be that person rather than wanting to channel some cool art. <laughs> Um, so be careful with that and surround yourself with inspiration, but don't make it about comparison. Number four, try different approaches. Um, sometimes you get stuck with something and uh, all it takes is changing your medium. Like some people are amazing at drawing, some people are amazing at painting or sculpting, um, some are great at seeing color, light, shape, others are great at lines. And very few of us have all those things come naturally. So find your strengths, switch it up, um, play to your strengths sometimes. And when you feel like I'm up for a challenge today, um, that's when you pick up the things that you're not good at. It's important to do both. Number five, take an interest in your mind and what makes you tick generally. Um, if the ans answer to that is nothing then you probably have like a deep soul journey to go on and it's not going to be related to just your creativity uh, but also other areas of your life and uh, we live in a very strange modern world so um, that might be difficult it's certainly been difficult for me I felt like an outcast <laughs> much of my life for wanting to do this and of course I always cared about money and feeding myself but that was never my number one motivation for doing what I do so and number six would be related to that. Um, there are universal remedies for keeping yourself motivated. If you have a favorite guru or god or a motivational speaker or a blogger or whatever, it doesn't have to be art related. Um, it can be anybody who speaks to you, speaks to your heart and um, your sensitivities and see what they have to say about motivation and challenges and staying focused. Number seven, make your space inviting to create in. I almost put this down as clean your space, but I don't think that's necessarily the same thing. Um, some people love a very clean working area. Others can work with a lot of clutter, but the important thing is that um, it's a space that you feel uh, energy can flow in. Number eight, um, treat painting a little bit like sacred work, but not too much. Like it's sacred to the universe because creativity is our most beautiful human thing that we have. Um, but it's, it's also important to remember that the universe and God or whatever you want to call it has a sense of humor, or at least in my mind, definitely. So don't be afraid to make silly things, even though it, it can still be a sacred pursuit. Number nine, you can't trust your eyes. I mean, that sounds horrible because of course we should be trusting what our eyes tell us, but 
for me, I don't know if something I made is any good until six months after I finished it at the earliest. Sometimes it takes years. Um, I look back at old work now and I'm like, how did I love this when I finished it? Or how did I not see how great this one was? Or what a huge leap forward it was for me. Um, so you can trust your heart, but you can't really trust your eyes and your judgment in art is my conclusion from that. So the important thing is to keep it up, keep it going, keep flowing, and you're always going to judge. But that doesn't mean that that judgment is important or great. Um, so just keep doing what you do and uh, try to stay a little bit detached from judgment because it's not a very useful emotion when it comes to art. Eight, number 10. If it's killing you, take a break. Um, go do something else. Go work on another painting. Make a silly sketch and then maybe pick it up later on or, you know, don't. Some things are just better abandoned. And as you become more experienced, you'll notice you abandon fewer pieces. But it's always okay to drop something. It's never okay to drop it out of laziness or fear. But sometimes it's just not the time for a certain painting. So yeah, I hope you found this somewhat useful. It was in response to a question from one of my patrons. I have a bunch of other questions lined up that I hope to tackle in time. And of course, a huge, enormous thank you to my patrons um, that allow me to make a living not only from selling art and jewelry and clothing, but also from doing stuff like this and hopefully serving someone and helping someone out because that's something I really want to do. And stay tuned because I will talk about <laughs> money. It's hard and some of the things I have to say on that might not be what you want to hear and some of them might kind of be a relief, maybe. Thanks for watching, you're awesome. Before I sign off, um, take a look at this quote from Ira Glass about staying motivated in creative pursuits.